I'm eternally grateful. What am I supposed to do? Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Damn it, they're getting the early. I didn't even watch the last episode yet. Are you crying? What? No. You're crying. I'm... Tears of happiness. Bye. I'm gonna go get some uh, pie. I'm gonna get some damn pie. Yeah. Let's go check out the winners. Yes. Sounds like hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Come on. Get into this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> There's uh, an easter egg, uh, Bobby Singer in the background, that's a cool one. And Deb's paw is early I've wanted to do that for a very long time. And for Deb. <laughs> oh, you're right. I do feel better. The boys said there's gonna be a lot of easter eggs for fans, and yeah, we'll see how many we can catch. I like how normal and old school, like you said, the episode would be, it feels, doesn't even feel like a serious finale. Because it's just treating it as a personal, small story. Whoa! Epic! Hi. Take off the mask! Come on, just take off the mask first. Let's see. Okay, this is it, guys. Uh, we jump right into the finale after the documentary. I didn't even have time to wipe my tears from the ending of that documentary that made me cry a little bit. Jump right into the finale. Sadly, we didn't get carry on where we signed the beginning, which is crazy. We got it every single season except the season 15 finale. The series finale, really. We didn't even get it in episode 19, so... They gave it to us in the documentary, but that doesn't count, in my opinion. They called the series finale event, but... They should still have had carry on. That's a big... It's a big bad thing they omitted there. So the start is not very good, but the episode itself, as you expect, feels super classic. Com uh, a composed small story instead of like the big, epic, crazy, convoluted mythology we've been getting for the last forever, several seasons. So I'm glad we're getting the focus on the boys. My favorite season is season one. I've talked about this often. And when I'm doing my rewatch series, I'm going to obviously continue that after Supernatural sadly ends tonight. I always love all Supernatural season one episodes, really, but... All the early seasons, 1 to 3, were focused on monster hunts and on the bros before all the other characters came in and the mythology got bigger and it became less interesting in my opinion. So that's why I love season 1 to 3 and I'm glad the finale is focusing on that. It seems like Jack, the new god, might have killed all the actual monsters or didn't just bring him back. And the only monsters remaining are human. And that's what I thought when I saw the photos in the trailer too. They just looked like big humans wearing masks. And sadly, this, this might be the end. The boys dying, fighting humans, normal humans. But I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I think will happen at the end. Like, even Jared Padalecki was talking about the finale, he described it as tragic. How could it be tragic if the boys don't die? So that's my thoughts, and I have a theory video about that, that the boys will die fighting, Butch and Sundance kind of style. Which Jens and Jared talked about before in conventions, and... Even Sam and Dean talked about in the alternate future, Chuck showed them that, hey, that's what I always wanted, going out, swinging, Butch and Sundance, so I hope I'm wrong, that this is just a red herring and that's not the ending we get, the boys keep fighting and whatever. So those things being vamps, that's worrying, like I said in my other video before that, so Chuck told them they're gonna be turned by vamps and be killed in the end. Hopefully that's not it though. Different scenario. Hey boys, okay, come on. Stay behind us, we're gonna keep you safe. Come on. Yeah, that is the eerie shot we see. Go, go, go. Run. In that trailer. I'm very worried about this. Oh no, is it gonna give us a break on that? Okay guys, that's the scene I'm worried about the most. I talked about this in several videos before the finale and I predicted that the boys will be trapped by those things. They're not, there are vamps after all. And they'll be killed, their last fight, Butch and Sundance ending. I hope I'm wrong, but everything about this doesn't look right. The build up and everything. 
typically they just easily take down vamps, but Chuck is not writing their story anymore. They're free. They don't have plot armor from God anymore. Not even a new God, Jack. I don't think Jack gave him one because he doesn't write stories anymore. He's hands off completely. So they can just die in a normal hunt now. People think that that'd be weak. Oh, they beat God. They're going to die in a normal hunt. Well, that's not how it works. Logic says that they can die on any normal hunt now that do not do not have the hero's luck. Forget Fortuna's luck and super luck and all this BS we got earlier. I don't think that's going to apply now. I don't know if it's gone or they might have forgot about it, but do not have God's plot armor anymore and they might this might be it. They might die here or at least be bitten and turned or injured so badly and dying slowly in the end. Any of those scenarios can happen or I hope I'm proven wrong and they just win this fight, save the kids and just walk off onto the next hunt. But I don't think there will be a next hunt. We're only 20 minutes into the series finale, so there's no way they're going to die right now unless they want to spend over half the episode in heaven. I don't know, but... Yeah, I'm very worried about this scene, and uh, yeah, I don't have a good feeling about it, but I hope I'm proven wrong, and even if they pass through this fight, they still don't die at the end. I want a happy ending. Sadly, I don't think we can get one, now. Huh, okay. I'm getting less worried now. Oh, no! No, no. <laughs> Dean got stabbed in the back. <clears throat> All right. Let's go oh. find those kids. Get them out of here. Sam. I don't like this. I don't, I don't think I'm going anywhere. What? Um... All right, I'll call for help. I'll get the first aid kit. Sam, Sam, Sam. Stay, stay with me. No. Can you stay with me, please? You knew it was always going to end like this for me. No. It was supposed to end like this, right? I mean, look at us. Saving people, hunting things. It's what we do. No, no, stop. Okay, just, just stop. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. It's good. We had one hell of a ride, man. I will find a way, okay? I, I will find another way. No, man. No. No, 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 no. No bringing me back, okay? You know, you know that always ends bad. You have a new god on your side now. Okay. Please. I'm fading pretty, I'm fading pretty quick. So, there's a few things that I need you to hear. Come here. Let me look at you. Are we only, what, half an hour in? Yeah, there he is. I'm so proud of you, Sam. Did you know that? I've always looked up to you. Man, when we were kids, you were so damn smart, smart. You never, you never took any of Dad's crap. I never knew how you did that. And you're stronger than me. You always have been. Hey, did I ever tell you? Did I ever tell you that night that uh, that I, that I came for you and. You at school. You know, Dad hadn't come back from his hunting trip. Yeah, uh, uh, the woman in white. The woman in white, that's right. I must have stood outside your door for hours. Because I, di I didn't know what, what you would say. I thought you'd tell me that to get lost or never get dead. And I didn't know what I would have done if I didn't have you. Because I was so scared. It's not fair. 
You got killed too early. Because when it all came down to it, it was always you and me. It's always been you and me. Then don't leave me. Don't leave me. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. I don't like this. Well, I don't want to. Hey. Throw it back to that pilot. I'm not leaving. Every day, every day you're out there and you're, you're living and you're fighting because you, you always keep fighting. You hear me? <laughs> I'll be there every step. I love you so much. <laughs> My baby brother. That's okay. <laughs> but I can't. I need, you, I need you to promise me. I need you to, to tell me that it's okay. I need you to tell me that it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. I need, I need, I need you to tell me that it's okay. You tell me, you tell me it's okay. It's okay. That's no, not okay. You can go now. I hope that was wrong. I hope I was wrong. I hope I was wrong about this, but yeah, that's how it ends. That's what I thought before. Looked like it in the trailers, and I'm so sad to be proven right. Okay, um. Trying to collect myself here to film a reaction video to the end of my <clears throat> end of my favorite series. And I can I can barely speak now. So <clears throat> I kind of, I was afraid of that, talked about that in the previous videos, that that scene in the trailer was uh, mask things turned out to be vamps. On a normal hunt, the boys would go out fighting, and I thought they might go, might go out together, and they should, because the showrunner said the ending is common, they got to be together, so most likely Sam will die too at the end of this one, I don't know, but we're only half an hour in, uh, and Dean, Dean already died. Even if you're isn't there plan to kill just Dean? That's too early in the episode. We barely got him. After they beat God and became free, they don't have a plot armor anymore, and it that seems to be what did it. Just a normal hunt. Just like normal people, they got they get killed, they get hurt. And Dean Dean got it this time. Just when he thought they're winning in the end, then the bad feeling was almost going away. Like they're back at those vamps and they're killing him. I still had a bad feeling about it, and 
yeah, Dean has this slow, drawn out, emotional death that I just I was a mess throughout the whole thing, as you'll see in the video. I don't think I'm gonna cut any of that out. We'll see, but I don't think I've ever cried like this before, at least on a TV show or a movie. Not for that long, anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, the showrunner said the boys will end up in the same place, so they might be, he might be just saying that to divert from, like, meaning the same place emotionally or something. That doesn't mean Sam will die too, but if he literally means it, then Sam will die too at, at the end of this one. I don't know if I can take that too, but just Dean's death, killing one of them, that's not fair. Letting the other one live and be tortured by that memory and originally he killed Sam and left Dean and he reversed it this time. I, I don't like I don't like that ending. It makes sense for the boys to die this way and they always talked about it, but I don't like it. Yeah, I know. It's not fair after they finally win and beat God. Like the very next time. The one we see on screen anyway. It's the one he dies in. Okay, that's seriously super depressing, like, Dean dies halfway through, not even, like 20 minutes in. We barely had him in the episode, and Sam spent the rest of it being depressed and trying to keep on fighting, fulfilling Dean's wish, dying wish to keep fighting, and we always have him in his heart, but he doesn't have him <laughs> literally anymore. I don't even have words anymore. I thought both would be killed, but only one of them, and that's not, that's not fair. I don't think that's that's a good ending. Just one of them to die. And the other to carry on, literally. There you go, title works in that way. Unless they kill Sam at the end too. Spare him the pain. He might, Maybe he dies on this hunt he's going on solo. And then reunites with his bro in heaven. And probably that's how the series ends on that way. We'll see, but showrunner said they're gonna have a common ending. Maybe not in the same place. I don't know what that means, maybe he's just playing word games, but yeah, she said I might join him in the end, we'll see, we'll see you guys, I think, I think he will join him in the end in heaven, because the boys belong together, they start together, they should end together, not kill one and just let the one live, I just, we're only like barely halfway through and I'm devastated already, barely trying to collect myself to speak, like half halfway and I'm just crying throughout so I'll try to collect myself to do my job making the videos for you guys and yeah let's see what happens in the rest of the depressing goodbye to our show is that Dean in, uh, in heaven well, at least I made it to heaven yep Yep, see you on the other side. A line. What memory is this? Did hint that. <laughs> it ain't, you idiot. Yeah, it is. What? Because the last I heard, you. You were in Heaven's lockup. Jack changed Was. things. Was. Now I'm not. <laughs> that kid of yours, before he went. wherever, made some changes here. So we made it uh, free Busted range. my ass Heaven. That's cool. I like how they make Bobby make him look younger, like the old days. You want to see him get Jack did all that. Well, Cass helped. Cass? Interesting. <laughs> So Cass is not in the MT anymore? It's a big new world out there. Interesting. You'll see. 
quality stuff. No, it's crap. <laughs> I missed the banter between Bobby and Dean. But it was fantastic. <sighs> Just like this. It's almost perfect. Dean obviously misses Sam. He'll be along. Someday. Time up here, it's... It's different. So, short time up in heaven, long time on earth. You got everything you could ever want, or need, or dream. So I guess the question is, what are you gonna do now, Dean? <laughs> well, gonna hunt in heaven. <laughs> there's, there's no need for that now. Baby. I think I'll go for a drive. Have Dean's fun. Favorite thing to do? Him and his baby. The Roadhouse. <laughs> Classic. Well, at least they're giving us some. Happiness at the end, the bittersweet style ending. Hey, baby. <laughs> Drive with Dean in heaven, beautiful. Dean's heaven seems to be driving baby forever. And Sam will die in the end and join him. He should be young again when he goes to heaven. Dad. You can go now. Same line he said. See why Jensen didn't like it, because it has serious finality to it. Doesn't leave the door a little open like he wanted. It's perfect line for that. Huh? Turn around, see Sam. <laughs> Hey, Sammy. Yeah, my eyes are dry. <laughs> Back to young Sam, like I expected that. Dean? Beautiful shot of the bridge in the end that the boys talked about in heaven. Wow. Thank you, the fans. 
Uh, through blood, sweat, laughter, and tears, you've kept us on for 15 years. Thank you. There's no way we would have ever been here without you and your support and your love. So thank you. We will remain forever grateful uh, for the opportunity and the honor to play these characters for so long. And uh, we felt you guys here with us all the time. So thank you. Love you guys. Huh. Beautiful goodbye shot. I, I don't think I stopped crying throughout the finale. It was beautiful. I hoped I was wrong that the boys don't die, but they ended up dying anyway. But Heaven, Heaven changed, Jack changed it, and Cass changed it, so Cass also got saved from the horrible fate in the empty. That's good to know. And Sam got to live the normal life he wanted from the beginning of the show, literally coming full circle in that case. But sadly, it came at a price of Dean being killed. He grew up old and died a normal death, which is very odd for a hunter. Never saw that coming. But I didn't expect him to do it this way, to kill one of the bros first and the other. But sadly, I did predict that both will die. And it just happened to Sam had a full life, a normal life, after the hunting life, of course. And Dean was killed in a tragic way. <laughs> it's bloody for him. That's what he always thought. And... Uh, yeah, I was a mess out. Like, I took a minute to collect myself. My voice still... Yeah, crying voice now, still. That ending was tragic, literally. That's what Jared called it. Tragic but bittersweet. That's what it was. So, heaven was fixed. Uh, it's not the repeating, boring memories anymore. That would have been... Sounds like hell and worse than heaven. So, Jack fixed it up. And now it's like... It's like free-range heaven. And, you know, Dean met up with Bobby and drove baby and they wanted to bring their parents back um john and mary but they couldn't bring the actors because the whole pandemic craziness and you know they want to bring many more guest stars it would have been nice to see them in heaven but we just got a hint that you know their uh the boys parents were living on the other side or whatever and yeah everyone is happy sam is young again goes to heaven it's not like he died an old man barely can move so i knew he's gonna do that of course and it made sense and uh that ending, yeah, it's very sad. I, I can't believe my favorite show, 15 Years of Awesomeness, have come to an end. What do you even say to that? Thank you to the cast and crew and for giving us this awesomeness for all these years. Thanks to my fellow fans and subscribers for following my work. This, this is not the end of Weird Adventures. I already made a video covering that earlier that I'll continue making video about Supernatural. Despite how devastated I am now that it's over and... No new season or episodes, at least for now. Someday, maybe they break out of heaven for a couple more missions or something, and the boys want to do that. Despite the very finality of this finale, I hate how final it was, and that's why Jensen had an issue with it, I'm sure. But it was beautiful. As much as I want the show to come back, this is a beautiful send-off. I still want it to come back, and yeah, I don't care how it comes back. Even if they had adventures in heaven, even though they wouldn't have any hunts in heaven, I'd still love to see it come back somehow. Earth needs the boys for more missions to save people. So God, the new Jack, brings him back. And we have Monsters Week episodes again, like season one. But otherwise, <laughs> I was a wreck. I hate crying on the camera. And I could hold it together pretty well. And usually, it catches up with me later. Like, it hits me later. And I just cry on my own. But this time, I couldn't. <laughs> I started with the end of that documentary, um, got a little teary-eyed, and then the episode didn't start to carry on, and I don't like that, and I figured it out later, obviously we see why. They played it at the end of the episode, they reversed it for the first time, appropriately in a series finale, first time they changed that, and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and I miss the boys so much, I love them so much, and uh, yeah, thanks Sam and Dean for being our awesome heroes for 15 years, and I hope I hope this is not goodbye, but see you later, like J2 always say. So I guess that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more awesome Supernatural and The Boys and Walker and anything J2 is in, basically, content. And uh, until next time, it's very unusual, so tons of chick flick moments. All the chick flick moments in the world. I'll see you next time.
No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? I, it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I, <laughs> to all the Espion family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you. And we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.